Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching 46 Okanen, and there is a lot going on. We have to go to the shrine in the southwest and find a way to turn all these slime people back to their original forms. And also there's a lunar eclipse on the way that seems to be foreshadowing the Ice Age. But let's leave this cave and head west. Hey, it's Gaia. That music can only mean one thing, that's our Lady Gaia. Yes, figured that out. Thank you, Gaia. But it's always nice for uh, formalities. She has finally decided to make her move. Oh, she, huh? A wicked being jealous of the evolution of life on this planet that plans to interfere and rule over it. I name her Devil. <gasps> it's the devil herself. She calls herself Lucifer, the false god. She destroyed the Venusians through environmental destruction and the Martians through nuclear warfare. Finally, some clear story beats in this game. Thank you for the update, Gaia. Now she's come for the Lunarians and those here on this planet. So are we going to team up with the Moon Men to defeat Satan? Is that what's going on here? This is, this is quite a bit different than the Super Nintendo game, I gotta say. Do you remember 500 million years ago when you were but a small fish? That day when all the other kind and gentle fish changed all of a sudden, that was her doing. Ah, they were good Christian fish who succumbed to the wily temptations of the devil. I can't believe it. Now quickly, there's a safe shrine in the mountain range to the west. We gotta hurry and get out of here. Gaia seemed unusually nervous. Just who is this devil? So is Gaia like the daughter of God and this is a God and Satan thing and they're kind of like clashing action figures together? I don't... What in the world is going to happen? You can no longer hear Gaia's voice. Oh, Gaia retreated to her intergalactic hidey hole, wherever that may be. But, well, we have a mission. Let's go out and head to that shrine out west and see if we can't help these poor little slime balls. This looks like it could be something. What is it? You see an object with a glowing mysterious light in the center. Gathered around the glowing object are creatures with broken bodies. So it's like, it's like an ancient dinosaur pool of Bethesda, huh? Power flows through your body as you approach the light. You felt a small shock in your mind, which eventually became words. Yeah, that's kind of what it feels like when I go to talk, I guess. It is time to evolve. So what? We're just at the... Are we at the end of the chapter? What, what happens? Or do I just get my new form? Uh, I usually take attack... If I take Vitality, will I go off the chart or will I just hit that one on the right? Let's go Vitality. Yes. You evolve into Edaphosaurus. Edaphosaurus? I don't know. Is that a real one or a fake one? Had small, similarly shaped teeth and a calm demeanor. Yep, yep. These dinosaurs always end up kind of reflecting me in some way. Interesting. Three meters in length, herbivore. The sail on its back regulated body heat and was used to intimidate. One of my favorite special moves. A small safe shrine has been prepared up ahead. Now quickly, Nemesis sent by the devil draws nigh. Hurry. Oh my. Okay, so we're actually... Okay, so here are the people who have come to the... They're depending on me. Everyone's frightened. Just calm down and we'll be fine. Okay, yeah. Or, or you know, the devil won't care how calm you are. He'll just... She will just zap you anyway. Is this a fight or is this a... Uh, no, that dinosaur wants nothing to do with me whatsoever. That's interesting. It just kind of seems to be meandering back and forth. Yeah, I wouldn't want to fight me either. I'm pretty strong at this point. I'm now on the final tier of evolution. Yeah, everybody is just running around. They're literally designed to get in my way at this point. Uh, I am stuck. I need you all to move. I know everybody wants to gang up on the celebrity here, but how is this useful? Like, what... What is going on here? Why why this? What get out of my way. I'm not here to give you guidance. I'm not here to fight you. I'm not here to help you. I just wanna I'm just trying to move along the mountain path here. Why does there need to be anybody here if they're not even gonna fight me? That's kinda of pointless. This game has little things about it little niggling things from time to time that are just I do not understand them. I do not understand the need for them. Maybe I can fight the slime, or is that just a slime that can walk around? No, that's just a slime that can walk around too. Why am I trying to fight anything? I'm maxed out on, almost maxed out on Evo genes and pretty much everything else I can be. Crossing the bridge here. Nice view, but we don't have time for that. We have to find the great Lucy herself and 
challenge her to a duel? Is, are we going to have the first actual fight of the game? Who knows? Because we have to walk up this giant mountain first, finding our way around. I guess up the center is pretty much the way to go. I keep getting distracted by side pads, like there's going to be anything of actual import along them. But that looks like a dangerous crack. Uh, if I stand here... Yeah, the mountain seems to be crumbling. That is probably more of the devil's doing. Uh, this mountain is coming apart at the seams. So what do I do? Do I go up the stream? Can't go up the stream. That's, in fact, that's sky, I think. So the dinosaurs are just milling around. This seems to be a nice mountain where everybody has discovered pacifism. Oh, there's the evil light. Let's, let's go into it. We're kind of being shoved into it anyway. Now go! The devil's schemes are revealed. Okay, so you have to get up the mountain by the time the lunar eclipse happens because I think this is going to usher in the Age of Isis. So here we go. I bet we're leading into chapter 4 right now. Nemesis approached the northern hemisphere and darkness assaulted the earth. Nothing was ever done about the slime people. They, I thought we were going to be getting their bodies back. It would be nice to actually help somebody in this game from time to time instead of just move along looking out for number one you know games are usually usually about helping people but there's not much of an altruistic motive driving this narrative a majority of the animal and plant life of the northern hemisphere was annihilated by nemesis's darkness nemesis being i guess the whoa whoa that, that dinosaur gorged himself on spaghettios you can see the sauce and the franks flowing right out of their eyeballs the lucky few survivors began their migration to the southern hemisphere including you well not all of us had a light uber to take those guys were probably just stranded forever but not everything brought on by this catastrophe was bad those of you that survived the darkness of nemesis gained a great boost of confidence in evolution plant life moved from gymnosperms to flowering angiosperms Smaller reptiles evolved into larger reptiles, dinosaurs, becoming much stronger and sturdier. So now we're on the true age of dinosaurs. A dizzying number of years passed. At least 12. Hey, there's some classic EVO music. The Earth once again becomes a planet of abundant life. The devil had failed. Yeah. Nuts to you, Satan. And I'm sure that's the last we ever heard from her as we moved into Chapter 4, The Terrible Lizard Era, The Coming Devastation. I thought we just experienced the devastation. There's more devastation? Can never just be easy in this game. So here we go. We're marching along now. That grand old EVO. Yeah, this is like later chapter music. Oh, good. Fresh water. Yay. So now... Now we're going to fight new opponents and go off looking for new things. There's still forest fires to trudge through, weirdly enough. A moss chops. I was one of those for about two seconds, but we should be getting... Okay. They hurt a fair bit. Are we going to be using strategy here? No, that one just kind of straight attacked and didn't defend or anything. What do I have? Speaking of which, well, I guess I'll have to get into a fight to figure it out. What do I have in the way of my specials? Oh, I'm back to defend and recover. No wonder the fights are so easy. You basically have defending and recovering, and that's it. Okay, a desperate and an unlucky, but right now I'm on top of the game. I've got a nice little pool to sit around here, and I can just fight moss chops to my heart's content. Ah, a cave. This must be where we're going to drive the narrative action of this chapter. But first, another Moss Chops fight, because why not? Moss Chops are pretty easy to take on. So I'm not as strong an Edifosaurus as I was at the end of the third chapter. Yay, we... What does our chart Evo look like in this chapter? <laughs> that is a staggering number of choices. Okay, surely they threw at least 10 or 20 fakes in there. No, no in the pattern so far, but holy mother. Wow, okay. Well, the first thing I like to do is I like to get some endurance. So we're going to head, and I should probably also upgrade wisdom. So I'm going to go up to, okay, So and now we're going up 10 points per evolution every time we, 
every time we get to it. So, Wisdom and Endurance. Good for now, because I'm just fighting Moss Chops. But, uh, we'll go until we find an evolution that's fun to turn into. Maybe we can get down to the second tier if we grind to attack. Who knows? I need to see about that. But, uh, we're in a bit of a safe spot for now. So, I'm going to take some time to grind on Moss Chops before I go into the cave and drive the action forward. What is this thing? That thing is a rat! That's an Eo... That, that, that's a big word for a rat. Eozostrodon? Let's fight it. Let's see what happens. Ooh, it's a... Well, it's a more even match than a Moss Chops, which is kind of weird. Uh, still nothing because I haven't evolved yet. Uh, okay, well, it's gonna... Oh, it can defend, so... Oh, no. Oh. Unlucky attack would be very bad. That does... Okay, so it's a little harder to fight. But it's not that bad still. Still, I think I'd rather deal with the Moss Chops for now. Unless it's unlucky attacking me, then I don't want that, but... Okay, so there's rats running around. So we're now in the age of, uh... We seem to now be somewhat in the age of mammals as well. Uh... Boy, they sure like running around bothering me giving me a hard time. That rat seems to have run off to God knows where. What what are we at Evo-wise? I'm at 1800-something. Uh, let's evolve... Will an attack direction take us down a tier? It won't. It just evolves us into Erythrosuchus. Bottom tier of the last chapter, of course, is now the top tier of this one. Had a large head and a stocky body and walked with heavy footsteps. Though it had strong jaws, it wasn't agile. Which made hunting hard. But, you know, if I have high attack, then it's all just kind of whatever. And I can go endurance. I have not I have just enough points to evolve in an endurance direction. Which will make me... You Parkeria. Parker Lewis can't lose. Here we go, buddy. Walked slowly on four legs, but got up on its hind legs to run. Had many sharp teeth, and its four legs were adapted to catching prey. Ancestor of the Tyrannosaurus, that's what I'm talking about. Well, it doesn't seem that fast. I'd, I'm pretty agile, but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go to the cave now, too, as well. Let's see what's up over here. I will avoid the rats for now. Ooh, a nice, nice little beach. This seems to be the kind of chill place where the Flower of Evolution hung out. Hey, man, you been working out? I sure have. This is the era of strength, finally. Something that plays to my wheelhouse. Uh, if this is the era of strength, then I'm going to do quite well indeed. We can... Let's saunter down the steps into the water. Oh, something hurt. Probably the water. Water has been pretty dangerous the last few eras. This is my place in the sun and no one else's. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Well, it may be the era of strength, but it's also the era of good manners. I do appreciate him kindly asking me to leave. <laughs> I, I taste horrible! I will not eat you. I'm not, uh... I'm not one to eat my own kind. Yes, I will. Boy, everybody here... They just kind of want to be left alone, which is understandable. Ah. You, you're at the top of the mountain. You probably have something important to say. Well, you look pretty strong, but... You're nothing compared to me. Such bravery! Okay, so... So I'm gonna chase this guy around for a little bit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to mess around with you. I'll pay for your doctor fees when we get to that era of evolution. Hey, man, the Elder's gonna talk your ear off if you go over there. It's always the same old stories. <laughs> Don't say mean things about my gramps! Such a grandpa's boy. Yeah, that's definitely a thing that people get called of and made fun of for. Hey, Traveler, where are you from? If you've got some time, go talk to my gramps. I will certainly do that. Your, your gramps must be right here. I want to hear his stories. Come listen to an old lizard. Far to the west, there's a cave where it's said a monster that fell from the heavens lives. That must be... That must be Lucifer. Only so many people have fallen from the heavens, you know. None have ever come back from there. It's quite terrifying. Don't get any foolish ideas about going to that place. Uh... I just got a foolish idea. Now to change the subject, kids these days have no manner. I don't know. I've been wandering around here. Everybody was very polite, even when I seem to be intruding on their personal space. I try to tell these kids useful things, but you know, 
in one whatever hearing organ dinosaurs have and out the other. They say I'm just an old fart who won't shut up. <laughs> Is this the earliest use of the word fart in a video game? Well, it would be whatever Japanese. I think that it's just a bit of translation flavor. I know, I'm just playing. <laughs> yep, they said that. They said that. Not me. That's Don't shoot the messenger. Don't claw the messenger's jugular out. They get mad red and nude online. They sure do. I just don't understand, young folks. He really did talk your ear off, which is impressive because I don't think dinosaurs have ears. Wow! He talked so long I started losing health. That's impressive. That's a cute little mechanic. You want to go already? All right, well, in any case, don't go to the monster's cave. I will definitely not do that. And I will definitely not... You'll even already come see Gramps again sometime. I don't think I will. He actually... I can never make it through the Elder's Long Speeches. Yeah, I don't blame you. Probably not enough hit points. Uh, what about you? I vaguely remember going... Someone going into that hole on the Elder's Orders. Oh, does the Elder have guilt? Your leg is still broken. Well, let's, uh, let's slide on out of here. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. It pushed me down current-wise. Okay, well... No, I don't want to work out right now. Uh, we'll have leg day another day, but we're going to stop here for now. This is probably a bit of a shorty because we're between chapters, but next time we'll go west and uh, see what Lucifer's been doing in the uh, time since she caused a lunar eclipse because I'm sure it was all her fault. Actually, I want to be in the safe space for now. Please keep me away from the rats. I don't want it yet.